And hey, it's Steve from Thor Motor Coach. I am with Garrett. We are kicking back in the all new Magnitude Grand L35. This is a sweet riding 4x4, F600, everything you need for a trip anywhere. Mm -hmm. Take us through this. This is all yep. yours. Now, now, Garrett is one of our factory reps. So when you go out to the dealers and you say, hey, I love this magnitude, and he walks you through and tells you about every single feature, he learns it from this guy right here. So all the questions you have, leave them in the comments below, and we'll get you answers. So let's start with uh, the new Grand Series. Yes. Yes, we changed a few things up. Mm -hmm. We just kind of wanted to kind of come out with a new generation mm -hmm. of the magnitude. And what you're going to have is you're going to have a partial paint, which is a new modern look that's going to come standard. Uh, you can option in the same full body paint colors that we did offer previously. Um, so you can get the full body paint. Also, you're going to have a different rear end mm -hmm. design. It's going to look more like a traditional Class C, a little bit more of a rugged look. Um, also, a few things changed up the awning, the interior here. You get a full kitchen, so you're going to have an oven, three gas burner, residential microwave, all residential appliances. Um, and the nice thing is this fridge here, you got an 1800 watt inverter. Mm -hmm. you can, power that fridge off the inverter. You got auto generator start to help allow you to run that longer. Um, you can upgrade the solar on this unit. It comes standard with 100 watts of solar. You can get two additional 200 watt panels for a total of 500 watts, two additional batteries for a total of four house batteries. That will give you a bunch of 12 volt power and a lot of charging for that 12 volt power to allow you to run your appliances longer, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, yeah, this floor plan, it's came out this floor plan a couple years ago. Um, it's one of our, based off one of our best selling class C floor plans we have in the four winds and Chateau. Okay. Um, so really what you're going to have, you're going to have a big overhead bunk here. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your four person dinette with seat belts, child safety tether now comes standard. We upgraded the wireless charging on the dinette, mm -hmm. uh, really quick. I mean, I think your phone's yeah. on there right it now. It is right now. Yep. Yeah. And that just pops up like that. And there you go. So you have your ports right there. If you don't support wireless charging. But then right there, pop it down. It has to be in the down position for wireless charging. And then you can read all the text from my daughter that she's having at the drama at school already this morning. So early for drama in the morning. Gotta love it. But this is where you kick back in these chairs and you relax and let the school drama go. <laughs> we did just upgrade these yeah. this year too. So these are power recline. Because um, previously this was all manual. Yeah. So you get power recliners mm -hmm. and they go back. We never had the recline yeah. feature previously on Magnitude. These are power massage and heated. Heat and I like there are charging ports. There's a charging port that is here cool. as well. Yeah. So my question is, are these plugged into the inverter or do you need to have the generator on when you're driving down the road to use these? Because if I was in here as a mm -hmm. passenger, this is where I would sit. Oh, yeah. And then I'd kick back and oh, yeah. it's, enjoy. It's a good question. Yeah. So, well, you know, I'd probably have the generator on anyway because I'd want the roof ACs fired up. Oh, yeah. You know, to keep mm -hmm. comfortable back here. These are how big? Uh, dual 13 fives. Okay. All right. Awesome. And if you want more sleeping couch. This, this is standard. The jackknife sofa is an option you okay. can get on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so we're going to have seatbelts there, seatbelts here, mm -hmm. seatbelts there. And while we're talking about seatbelts there, and we'll get up and walk through the rest of this. I just want to get through some of this. This is the F. 600 chassis so take us through the differences between the f600 and the f550 because we also build uh magnitude on the f550 yes so the 550 is a 19,500 pound chassis okay. where this is going to be a 22,000 pound chassis and where that added weight comes in is they added extra steel reinforcement in the frame about, right about by, here exactly okay. right here or running through here okay that's what increases your carrying capacity because when we first came out with the 600, it more than doubled our carrying capacity on this unit. It's, I think it's just sold as over 4,000 pounds, 4,300 wow. pounds. Um, so that's where your added capacities come in. But then to handle that added weight, they did have to upgrade a lot of other things. So like your wheels are 0.75 inches wider. Your tires are 22 millimeters thicker. The brakes, suspension, nuts, bolts are all larger and heavier to handle that added weight. Okay, and that's still, you still get the same 6.7 liter power oh, yeah. stroke V8, makes it, makes, makes, it makes pretty sense. And you don't notice a difference from the 550 to 600 yeah. with that 6.7 power stroke and that 10 speed torque shift transmission. Yeah. And you have the drive modes and Nick, run through a, a quick list because I know there are safety features oh, yeah. built into this because a lot of times, especially when you get into 
uh, an RV of this size, it can be a little intimidating. So every little assistance you can get gives you just a little bit of attitude. We got to think your your base level Toyota now comes fully equipped with all the safety features. Right. So your the buyers nowadays are fully used to driving with those safety features. So going with to something without it, it's kind of like going back in the Stone Age. So this is going to have lane departure mm -hmm. warning and automatic emergency braking. Um, Funk Ford, those are OEM, not an aftermarket system. Um, so really great to have other safety features, driver passenger airbags, side curtain airbags, side seat airbags. So I mean, very safe. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Ford's, all Ford system up there. And they redesigned that interior and the exterior body of the F-Series last year. So you have a whole new look. Um, just shift on the fly for four wheel drive. Nice. So you don't have to get out there and lock the hubs anymore, which is you still got to lock the hubs. Oh, do you? Okay. Mm -hmm. You still have to go out there and do that. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's walk through the rest yep. of this and kind of point out all of the bells and whistles that we got going on in here. So this is our Brighton cabinetry. It's going to give you a two tone look. So you're going to see you have the light color with the chrome handles, and then you're going to have your dark, kind of like a mahogany in kind of the bottom and some of your cabinetry space here. It's nice wood. I mean, oh, it's a nice. real nice fit, real finish nice wood. Um, and the other thing to kind of hit on with just our construction, right. kind of where we stand apart, is inside your sidewalls. So anything that gets mounted into the wall, mm -hmm. so your cabinetry, that needs to be held strongly in place. You're going down the road and you're moving. So we have EGS steel. So it's steel strapping inside the wall that all your cabinetry is mounted into, not just foam. Uh, insulation or aluminum framing that it's going into that's backed by steel so it's not going to come out same thing with like your ladders anything anything that's mounted in the walls so that's big um, steel floor construction mm -hmm. aluminum sidewalls aluminum trust roof um, but going back that's kind of a little bit on construction going back to the rest you're going to have this new we came out with this new kind of solid surface kind of a modern white it looks sharp yeah, it's got little like uh, metal flake in there which is a nice oh one. yeah like tiger stripes on yeah. it I mean it's really modern and i love the addition of this over mm. the sink cover so if you're yes. drying dishes that doesn't get wet and water runs off just right down in the sink and easy very easy nice and easy pop-up pop outlet mm -hmm. wireless charging on that as well and then we have an oven in here people love the oven you also have your microwave uh, and a ton of storage back here. So pantry, washer, dryer prep, take us through all of this. So if people want to add in washer, dryer, mm -hmm. it's literally plug and plug. Oh yeah, yep, there's a panel right on the inside you remove and then all your plumbing is right there. You have the outlets to plug mm -hmm. into directly there as well. And it's set up for a stackable. Okay. Um, which is really nice because you have the option of going stackable or combo, whichever you, if you want a little bit more storage. Mm -hmm. um, right next to you too, we have the multiplex controls. Yep. Um, so you're gonna have all Everything accessed right there, cell phone, connectivity, solar, amp hours every day, the weekly average. Yeah, check your app. The app oh. is nice so you can see it outside and then, you know, especially when you want to put the awning out or whatever when you're at the campsite and you're like, how close am I really to those trees? Exactly. Because we've all been there. Uh, great large bathroom. I like the the corner shower in there. It gives you a, a. It feels like it gives you more room. Yes. And maybe it's just an illusion, but it feels like it does. And that's a fully ventilated bathroom. We have air heat and air out so in and out which is nice tankless hot water on board and we just switched to suburban so take us through that yep so we just upgraded to the suburban's tankless water heater which is a phenomenal system we've been using it on our class a diesels for uh, a little bit of time now and they've been customers have been raving about it so we switched on this to give you a nice little upgrade and then we get into our bedroom and what i love about a north to south bed is well one back here a nice little place to sit but if you pull into a cracker barrel you're pulling to a truck stop and you are not allowed to put out your slide or you feel like oh it's a lot of setup you don't need to do that exactly and, and you can still access this with the slide in oh yeah obviously. when the slides in you have a full walkway all the way to the bedroom you can access the bathroom mm -hmm. access the kitchen as well and this is a growing trend you're saying i mean koa does a study every year on how our viewers camp and you have more people going off grid, national parks, state parks, than mm -hmm. going to actual campsites. So it's important for the customers to be able to use the bed with easily in a parking lot. You don't have to get a slide out. Um, it's a growing trend, and this really answers that. Yeah. And when you're off grid and you have your generator on, we just kicked on the roof AC. Fair enough, still quite enough. We can have a conversation mm -hmm. or watch smart TV back here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just upgraded to smart TVs all throughout the motorhome uh, for this model year. So big plus, because you can connect directly to the new 5G on the roof. Nice. 
Um, and then you don't have any added wires in the back. Everything's easy, wire free. Um, fast internet too. Very fast. And you can use it as a Wi-Fi extender and plenty of storage back here as well. Closets. And talking about storage. Some, yeah. We have 152 cubic That's feet of huge. storage on this. Especially, we'll walk outside and we'll take a look at that in the, in the rear is depending and that's what i love about this is being able to have the options and how do i how do i want to use this where am i going to go what do i want to bring with me so we have the giant storage bay back here and if you want an option in a griddle mm -hmm. you can if you get a massive pull out mm -hmm. with the blackstone and you do have the nice protection mm -hmm. on top there I've never had a flare-up in Blackstone at home. <laughs> never had a flare-up at all. But yeah, that's a, that's a great option to have. And even with the Blackstone, it only pull out here. You still have oh, all you still have all the you storage. Still have all that storage in here. What do we have here? I like that. Mm -hmm. Wash off the greasy utensils. Exactly. And there's our propane connection. Right there. And that's where the griddle will plug in. And then let's see. We got uh, a number of storage bays back here. We'll get some pass-through in here. And it's, I mean, we had rain. It's been raining yesterday, rain oh, it's all night. And day. you don't have to worry about these storage compartments. Yes, yeah, all rotocast plastic. 68 pounds of propane. Some of your battery compartments. So we did change this. It used okay. to be underneath the step. Moved it underneath to this compartment. Oh, way Much easier, easier to, to access. access. Yeah. Oh, and customers are constantly wanting to upgrade batteries and yep. do things themselves. So this is going to have the, the optional upgrade, which is four house batteries and the upgraded solar on the roof. And then TV here. And again, smart TV, mm -hmm. like it was pointing out. And then we have a nice large bay over here for golf clubs or whatever it is you need. All LED lights yeah. in all of the compartments, one touch, all the lights are on. And this is deep pass through. Then you can get a good look at that new partial paint. Yeah, I like this color. You see, you're seeing a lot of this light gray yes. uh, on a lot of vehicles. I mean, from motorcycles all the way up to high end. Oh, it's Jesus. the big trend it's now. big trend right now. Oh, and there we have the awning out with the LED light. Yep, 16 so. foot awning. Uh, blackout package is gonna be standard on this. So you're gonna have the black aluminum wheels. You're also gonna have black up front. We got the Ford front, which is nice. That yeah. gives it a really beefy look. Yeah, I like it with the tow hook. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a very rugged vehicle indeed. And when Ford upgraded or came out with the new yeah. model year with all the new exterior and interior, they did change the grill and that front grill actually has a lot of function because they opened it up mm -hmm. for more air to come into oh, that engine because they okay. upgraded the turbocharger as okay. well so they want to maximize airflow into that turbocharger and also to call them the gills but it's just ventilation yeah. for the diesel engine it's okay. very important for these engines to breathe so this used to be cosmetic had no real function okay they're about this big now ford um enlarged it and then actually put in real ventilation so that way that motor especially when you're done driving for yeah, you, those turbos, you gotta let those turbos cool down yeah yeah i did not know that so functionality even from here to inside to everything i always appreciate of your expertise garen thank you very much yes, I, always, I always learn something new and you want to learn more about the l35 right you can do that right now at thormotorcoach.com